Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mohamedou, and I welcome you to the channel Math Ways. So today we're gonna do a short lecture with practice and practice session on subtracting integers with five examples. So we remember that in subtracting integers, we all we have to do is first add the opposite of the number that comes after the subtracting sign and in, and transform it to adding integer and apply either one of the two rules in which means that the signs are the same and the signs are different so let's start up with the example number one one minus three so in this case we add, have to add the opposite of 3 which will become negative 3 and we notice that we in the situation in which the signs are different so we subtract 3 from 1 and we notice that the larger number 3 has a negative sign in conclusion the answer negative 2 logically is a solution and it will be a negative answer Example 2, 4 minus minus 1. We notice in this case that we have a negative 1, so adding the opposite of negative 1 will give us a positive number, which will be 4 plus 1. And what we have to do here is just add 4 and 1, and we notice that the answer will be 5, which is a positive number. Example 3, negative 6 minus minus 8. We add the opposite of eight, uh, negative 8, which is positive 8, so we'll have negative 6 plus 8. We subtract 8 from 6, and the larger sign, eight ha the larger number 8 has a positive sign. Therefore, the final answer will be positive. In conclusion, 2 will be the solution of this problem. Example 4, minus 3, minus 3. We add the opposite of 3. So we will have minus 3 plus minus 3. Here the signs are the same. So we will just have to add 3 and 3 to keep the negative. The final answer will be negative 6. Example 5, 7 minus 7. We add the opposite of 7. So we get 7 plus minus 7. The signs are different obviously. But in this case, the two numbers are identical, so it won't really matter. In conclusion, zero will be the final answer of this operation. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch these five practice cases, and I hope it will help you better in doing your homework. So thank you very much once again for watching it, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, and share and if you have any questions you can message me on facebook twitter instagram or just drop your question on the comment section thank you very much and have a great day bye bye